That says $9.99 on the GameCube. Fuck, what we got down here? Does that say 99 cents? Oh. What is good, everyone? Welcome back to the Retro World. Guys, in today's special episode, we are going to a thrift store and we come across some stuff that we have not seen in a long freaking time. Let's get into it. Guys, I am at a thrift store and look, $9.99, look at that. That says $9.99 on the GameCube. PS4 games, a lot of PC games, but look, what we got down here? A bunch of baseball, or not baseball, excuse me, a bunch of Super Nintendo games. Bruh, does that say 99 cents? Oh my gosh, I never see anything at this thrift store. This is crazy. What else do we got? Rage, never heard of that one. Oh, I gotta talk to someone. Also, look, there's tons of Game Gear games. <gasps> Streets of Rage 2. Guys, are y'all seeing this? This is crazy. Hopefully we can just buy everything in here. <laughs> oh my gosh. These, I did a mile 99 cent. These controllers, since they look like that, they, they I'm probably gonna buy it. This is the stuff that I love coming across. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna get all of it, and honestly. The only reason why I'm asking 9 dollars because it ain't got no coins okay. or none of that. Yeah, this, this stuff like, right here. I got a game to at Yeah, home. definitely. And then the Game Gear stuff, too. And all them 99 Yeah, I'll get all those as well. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. I told my boss, lady, let me do this. I got a game system at a high. Let me do this. Yeah, it's some good prices for sure. But you can't go to the game stop and get them from that No, seat. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they, they don't, they don't even forward. carry... Right, they don't even carry a lot of this stuff anyways, so... Yep, yeah, I'll definitely be getting it all. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Okay, sounds good. Guys, I am freaking losing my mind. You don't ever see this type of stuff, especially even nowadays at some of these thrift stores. This is freaking insane. Let's go. All right, guys, this is never a brag here on this channel, but I just wanted to show y'all, this is what we spent on everything. Look at these prices. $9.99 was the price for that GameCube. Two of those controllers were just 49 cents a piece. And then the 25 games were priced at 99 cents each. A grand total of $38.60. That is freaking crazy. Let's go and take a deep dive and look at everything that we just picked up. All right, first things first, we have a GameCube. Now there's no controllers, no wires, nothing like that. I think that's probably why they priced it at $9.99. But I mean... It looks like it's in pretty decent shape. It just needs to be cleaned up. We're gonna find out at a later point if this thing is actually working. Even if it's not, I think for parts, spending 10 bucks on it was probably still a pretty good deal. I don't know exactly, I have to look that up. $10 for a GameCube is already an amazing price. Now guys, here is the box of freaking goodness. Now you'll notice everything right now is upside down and that's because whenever I went to the register, I started pulling out stacks of games and then I was flipping them upside down to show them the prices. Now believe it or not, I actually did not go through all of these games. I saw, I'd say at least like maybe four of them or so. So I know there's actually some decent stuff in here, but the rest of it is kind of gonna be like a mystery box, which I really love kind of going through this stuff with you guys. So that way we all get to get excited at the same time. So let's go ahead and look at these controllers. There we go, that price, 49 cents, absolutely crazy. Even if these don't end up working for 50 cents, you know, whatever, maybe we can use the buttons for parts later on. Usually you just take these things apart and then you take some isopropyl alcohol, put it on a Q-tip, and then you clean the little connectors. And usually that brings this stuff back to life. However, these are really beat up, so there's no telling until we try them out later on, but still not bad for 50 cents. There's the first one and yeah. There's the second one. The second one actually I think looks a little bit nicer. The buttons aren't chewed up like the other ones are. Now there is some wear there, but that's just kind of what happened. Oh, didn't even, <laughs> oh no, that's just dirt. I thought that was like a chew mark. So I think we're good. We'll, we'll find out though later on. Guys, the stuff that hopefully dreams are made of. Now these are very nasty, very junky. You can tell there's just gonna be a lot 
of TLC that is going to go into these games once the video is done. I'm going to go through all of them and clean them and test them and everything. But let's just go ahead and start off. Oh, yes. <laughs> we got a good one already off the top, guys. We got Star Fox. Oh, man. You know, the label is actually not bad. You can kind of see it there. It's got some dings. But once we wipe this down and clean it up, I think this is going to look pretty nice. Uh, well, minus the back, but that's okay. Dollar for Star Fox in 2023. Let's freaking go. Let's see what else we got here. Hey, Royal Rumble. I don't think we have this one. Little by little, if we see Super Nintendo games that we don't have and they're not super expensive, we kind of just add them to the collection. Now, these, oh, <laughs> you can see, I think that's like black mold. So these are definitely going to need a lot of cleaning up. But once again, that's just kind of part of it when you find these type of games. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so we got some Game Gear stuff. We have World Series Baseball 95 pretty cool and we have fred couples golf now for a dollar a piece were these games really worth it Eh, debatable but hey we just wanted to go ahead and pick up everything while we saw it hey whatever even for a dollar i mean it's it's a game gear game we don't have you know whatever oh i see a good one already we got mortal Kombat for the game gear that is awesome and i've said it before i always love coming across these like authentic cases whether it's like the sega game gear ones the nes sleeves just something about it just being that authenticity is just so freaking amazing guys i feel like we're already off to a pretty good start considering the price that we spent on everything oh man next up we have road runners death valley and rally i've never even seen this game before that's one of my favorite things about game hunting especially when you come across like a box of stuff like this you're gonna pick out games that you've never even heard of and now i'm like really excited to check this one out hopefully it ends up being a lot of fun it's by sunsoft which i know they've put out a lot of great games before in the past so pretty cool i don't know where all these games are going but <laughs> we'll find a spot mickey's ultimate challenge look at the cover art on that that thing is so sick looking Huh. I wonder if this is like some sort of puzzle game. This one sounds kind of familiar, but I don't know if it's because I saw this game when we were at the thrift store. Like I saw the label sticking out like this, and maybe that's why it sounds familiar to me right now. I don't think I've ever played this game though. I don't know. Next up, oh, let's go. We got Super Mario Kart. Oh man. Oh, I'm so stoked. Surprisingly, some of these games are going to end up being condition upgrades on some of my cartridges. I know I have a lot of games where the labels are like torn and stuff. So, although, yeah, very nasty and definitely needs a lot of cleaning, at least the label can be an upgrade. Next up. All right, Cal Ripken Jr. Baseball. Don't have this one. Not all sports games, especially not on the Super Nintendo, will have value, but I think I've seen a couple of them that actually do have some value. So, it's always worth it to pick things up and then you can always just look them up next up uh, mario's time machine i don't know if we have this one or not there's one of these mario games from the super nintendo that i know we're missing i don't know if it's this one i think there's another one where it's like something with numbers but i might have that confused with the nes game so i'm not exactly sure but mario's time machine let's -a go and i was trying to do this little oh let's have this nice little display going but we're already like out of room so clearly that's not gonna happen Next up, we've got Primal Rage. I remember playing this game back in the day. I don't think we have this one either, so that is pretty amazing. Next up, oh yes, one of my favorite games of all time. We got Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Kong Quest. Guys, something about this game, the music, I think I actually enjoyed the sequel more than the original. And if I had to rate them, I would put this one up top, I would put number one as second, and then number three, I gotta put that one to the end. I still enjoyed it for what it was, and I feel like it doesn't get as much love as it probably should, but definitely my least favorite from the bunch, but definitely my most favorite from the bunch. <laughs> Next up, uh, yes, another great game. We have Super Mario World. So if you guys are new here and you don't, you know, you don't pay attention to like values of games and stuff like that, these two games right here, I think. If we sold both of those games, we would probably make our money back or we would make like very close to it. Just for good measure, we could say these three games right here. If we sold if we sold these three games, that ends up covering the cost of everything here. And that's kind of what we do on this channel. We try to find some stuff to flip and then we try to offset the cost or even cover the entire expense if we can. And then that way we get to add stuff to our collection essentially for free after a little bit of work so that's just kind of what we do here if you're new oh let's freaking go we have streets of rage 2 for the sega game gear 
Oh man, we don't have any of the Streets of Rage games. Now, part of me would rather have this on the actual Sega Genesis, but we don't have it on the Game Gear, so that's pretty cool. I don't know if this is something we're going to hold on to. I know this is a great game, but I think the value on this one's a little bit up there. Maybe not too much, but I'll be throwing it up on the screen. Um, so this might be a game. Maybe we'll play a little bit on the Game Gear first and then maybe decide to sell it off later and then maybe get the actual Genesis version. So we'll see. I know the Genesis version costs a lot more, but... I don't know. Next up, we have Side Pocket for the Sega Game Gear. All right, pretty cool. Let's go through some more Game Gear games while we got them. What is this? We got Ren and Stimpy. That is awesome. I always love coming across Ren and Stimpy stuff, so that is really cool. Next up, we've got Super Columns. Okay. One of those games you can bundle in and, you know, do something with. Trade it in if you want. <laughs> Next up, we have Sonic chaos is this just regular sonic or is this uh maybe it's a different sonic i don't know i don't know what the original sonic is supposed to look like on the game gear i didn't have a game gear when i was younger so when we see game gear stuff most of the time it's something i haven't seen before so sonic the hedgehog and then it just says chaos so i don't know looks interesting though and it's sonic so you can't go wrong with that next up there we go we have sonic the hedgehog 2 sonic and tails i have seen this one i think we have this one already in the collection but i freaking just love seeing that artwork it's just so amazing to me i i have to keep looking on the back i'm like 99 cents how <laughs> like how how is this possible all right guys what we got next what we got next guess that game right now three two one it is upside down all right it's a good one though we have super mario all-stars oh man Guys, what's crazy is as I was like picking up these games, somebody came up at the very end and I think it was like just in time for me to tell the worker where I was like, yeah, I'm going to get everything. And then I, no <laughs> I noticed the guy kind of gave me a look and then he kind of backed off and was just like, like you could tell, like, I don't know if he was a reseller. I don't know if he was a collector. I'm not exactly sure, but you could just tell he's like, dang it. <laughs> So guys, just a heads up, timing is everything when it comes to this stuff. If I showed up five minutes later to this thrift store, I would have seen this guy walking out with all of this stuff. And I'd probably been like, yo, you got an amazing deal. And then that's just how it goes. Next up, we've got Nigel Mansell's World Championship. Now, I do know that we picked this game up not too long ago because I just remember this name. So World Championship Racing should be a double for me now. Of course, I'll have to double check, but I'm almost positive we just picked this one up. Next up, what is it? What is it? Ooh, we've got NFL Quarterback Club 96. I don't know why I said, ooh. I think the cover art threw me off. I was like, ooh, what's this? And then I realized it was a sports game. But hey, not all sports games are bad. Some of them are actually pretty fun. Not a huge sports fan. You guys have probably heard me mention that a thousand times by now. But hey, I don't shame anyone for playing the type of games that they enjoy. So nothing wrong with that. Next up, shout outs to Robinson. Let's see, what do we got? We've got Turn and Burn, No Fly Zone. I do remember picking this one up just because that name stuck out to me, Turn and Burn. So this is going to be a double as well. Definitely going to need a little bit of care to bring it back to life. But sometimes that's just kind of fun, just sitting back, putting on like a TV show or something, and then just cleaning up a bunch of games. I don't know. I usually find that pretty fun. Next up, I, I tried not to show you guys. I did. Uh, what is it? All right, my bad, guys. We ruined that one. But anyways, we got Donkey Kong Country. That is freaking amazing. I feel like whenever you pick up Super Nintendo bundles, you're probably going to come across Donkey Kong Country or at least Super Mario World. I feel like those are the two most common games that you end up seeing if you pick up a bundle. I am curious where the actual Super Nintendo was. It seems like they had everything else but the console. Next, uh, last but not least, uh, we're not ending on a good note, but that's okay. We got ESPN Baseball tonight but hey you know what we don't have this one in the super nintendo collection so although it is very nasty and we got to bring it back to life we're probably gonna add it what is that <laughs> why is there a drill bit in here all right you know what some of these games might not be coming back to life we'll have to see because if this is like super scratched up then this will just be a little little shelf shelf piece i guess although it's not much of a piece that's a piece right there though that is freaking hilarious all right guys little overview once again guys it's never a brag here on this channel but y'all know we love 
finding great deals and this right here is up that alley this was a freaking amazing deal almost unheard of especially in 2023 i never see this type of stuff at my local thrift stores and if i do usually it's priced up like if, if i saw something like this at goodwill they're probably going to put a 9.99 sticker on there like that's how crazy things have gotten at some of these thrift stores but go to those mom and pop thrift stores i feel like that's kind of where you might find better stuff but keep in mind, it's just all about timing. You show up a little later than the other guy, they're going to beat you to the stuff. That's just what happens. But y'all let me know what your favorite thing is. This is freaking insane. Guys, this was one of those freaking amazing scores. Something that you just don't really see too often. I'm not saying these deals still aren't out there. But usually these type of deals I feel like might be at a yard sale or maybe even like a Goodwill bins somewhere where things are just like very, very cheap. But at thrift stores, usually the game section is marked up way more. So I don't know what happened. I don't know if maybe someone new was working and they just priced stuff really cheap, just kind of priced it to sell. I don't know. But like I said, got there at the right time and it just worked out. So super thankful for this freaking amazing deal. Most of that stuff ended up going into the collection. A few of those were doubles and a few of them were condition upgrades as well. So we got to swap those out and then sell off the ones that we didn't need. And a lot of those games, even though they were super dirty, they ended up cleaning up pretty nicely. I was able to get most of that black gunk off of the cartridges so it worked out pretty well guys i appreciate all of y'all make sure to hit subscribe if you are new here and you are enjoying the content i said it earlier but drop a comment and let me know what your favorite thing was you saw in today's episode guys till next time peace why is there a drill bit